Cooper City Commission gathered for a regular meeting on August 23rd, 2022 and discussed multiple action items. At the start of the meeting, the Commission decided to hold off on the potential decision to purchase additional fire apparatus at least until the next scheduled meeting in September due to new information related to a fire rescue truck and ladder truck. The reason for tabling the fire purchase of the fire apparatus was so that we can further analyze the costs and the time and the expense. And candidly, we just received this information about 20 minutes before the meeting. So I think it behooved the fire department, the city, and the commission to sit down, take a further look at it, and see what direction we're going to go. Sticking with public safety, the City Commission approved a tri-party agreement that now helps make sure a school resource officer is staffed and funded at Renaissance Charter School. That's the issue for Cooper City. Safety. It's for our children. And it may be for any child, not in Cooper City, who attends a charter school. But that doesn't matter to us because we care about the children. And so safety being first, it was passed. Changing gears and turning attention to the roadways of Cooper City, the City Commission approved an agreement for traffic engineering services with the Corradino Group. The agreement will significantly support the City's application submittal for projects funded through MAP Broward, that's short for Broward Mobility Advancement Program, and the Metropolitan Planning Organization's Complete Streets and Other Localized Initiatives programs known as CSLIP. One of the projects the city is driving towards is a potential roundabout at the intersection of Hiatus Road and Northeast Lake Boulevard. This will be funded through Matt Brower. It's the first time that we'll have a full-fledged traffic study done. It's gonna help us move traffic through and make it safer because there's the entrance between Rock Creek and uh, Embassy Lakes that accidents have occurred. It's hard to get in and out, hard to go north or south, depending on what exit you're coming out of. So we saw fit to have a traffic study done. I believe that the roundabout may be the right answer. I think the county will agree with that. And based on that, everyone will be safer for it. The City Commission also took action on an ordinance that will amend city code in regard to bulk waste pickup for vegetation only. It only affects uh, Lake Mariantha and uh, Royal Palm Ranches with a few other blocks, if you will, a very, very few, limited in nature. And it only regarded vegetation, giving them one week to put it out, not on Palm Avenue, however. So because you have to appreciate that they came into and were annexed into Coop City from Broward County. The county had very lax uh, ordinances. We decided to upgrade it, if you will, and they agreed there had to be something done because vegetation was being left out there two, three, four weeks at a time. For a full recap of the August 23rd meeting, please visit www.coopercity.gov and head to the news section.